this is a perfect place to show the people the art of fly fishing. Thank you very much. Now, these small channels over here uh, look as if they might hold some fish. Yep, yep. There's a good fish line just in that first channel there. Yep. Um, you might be able to get at him. It would be a bit difficult with your back cast, but so, oh, yeah. um, you know, I think you'd better creep on because... Uh, Creeping on, fellas. The brontosaurus stomp. It's on the money. And, oh, <laughs> it's just the, <laughs> Oh, Ron, did you see? Watch you don't take you over the fall. Yeah, I just fantastic. <laughs> Oh, folks, that is just what fly fishing's all about. And you don't have to catch eight or ten pound fish. Just little brownies approaching a pound. And he came up and he took that little Adams as if there was no tomorrow. Come on, little fellow. Whoa, he's down there. And I'll just hold him there for you, Ron. So how about that, folks? My first, my first brown trout from the Itchen River here in the south of England. I suppose a pound two, a pound three might seem out. And these English brown trout are as close to the wild thing as you can. He's like a little bullet, a little male, and didn't he love that, Ron? Well done, well done. You don't know the rules of my show, do you? No. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> Dual kissing trout. And we'll put him, best to put him downstream so he does, or upstream? Just put him upstream. Please. Okay, here we go. This is just absolutely fantastic. There you go, mate. What a beautiful little trout. And there he is, just right there. And Harry can pick him up, he'll recover, and he'll give someone else the joy of fishing. And I can tell you what, folks, that is what it's all about. The joy of fishing it is not a big pile of dead fish laying on the bank or on the bottom of the boat. It's seeing the fish in their own environment, in the wild state of beautiful southern England, casting a fly and them accepting it. This is almost fishing heaven. There's a couple over there, right? See? Got I got him. I got him. I got him, Ronnie boy. On the money, nearly on the money. Come on now. That's on the money. That's on the money. Good. Look out. <laughs> How good was that? <laughs> oh, folks. He came up and he went Look bang. He's going to run us <laughs> over that weir if we're not careful. <laughs> oh, Ron, this is just fantastic. Well oh. done, well done. <laughs> We ain't won yet, though. No, we haven't won yet. He's trying for the weed. <laughs> What's the where? Come on now. Oh, wasn't that just like taking candy off a kid? I tell you what, when I was a kid, they couldn't get the candy off me, Ron. I tell you now. I tell you what, I don't know about that expression. But, oh, look, these are just beautiful wild fish. How big are they, are they when you put them in here? Well, we like to put in fry. Yeah. I don't like putting in a lot of big, big look at fish. Him. Yeah. So there you are, the beautiful fish. <laughs> beautiful fish, about a pound, and he's got a, 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 a roof over the till shed better than me. And mate, you can join your other mate. There you go. And oh, what a beauty! And look at him just sitting there, eh? He's just yeah, sort of he's saying, right. "He's on his way." He said, "That was Rex Hunt." Yes, sir. Who was that bloke with him? <laughs> You can probably gather I'm in my element. I started fly fishing in my teen years in central Victoria on streams 
not unsimilar to this beautiful river Itchen. Flows into the test down there and this is absolutely the home of British trout. It's turned it on today and I hope you have gathered the atmosphere of what fly fishing is all about. Give it a go. For a modest amount of money, you can join this magnificent part of the country.